Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's nine o'clock on a Sunday, which means it's time for a review show special. Now, this is where I take a particular deep dive into a subject or a creator or a production company. And today we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to start a series of reviews over the coming months where I'm going to be reviewing membership sites. A lot of membership sites out there. There's multiple membership sites. Some of them are great, some of them are not so great, some of them are absolutely awesome. And I do get asked quite a lot to review membership sites, and that's what I'm going to do. Now, first of all, what is a membership site? Well, a membership site is where somebody pays a certain amount per month to subscribe, and then in return they get access to a whole bunch of content, and more content is promised on a semi-regular, stroke regular basis. Now, today, I'm going to be looking at Christian Grace's uh, membership site. It's called uh, Magic Monthly, and it's something that he's been running now for quite a while. It's currently priced at £10 plus VAT, but it is going up in March, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And when you pay your money to Christian you get access to all of the content on there immediately. And it's on this platform called Gumroad. Gumroad has its own app, so you can access it via the app or from a, a website. And uh, you sign up and you subscribe and it pay you pay your money every single month. And when you pay your money, you continue to get access to all of these routines. And it's very no frills in its approach, so it's not like it's categorised into different categories. When you go into the membership site, you just see all of the different stuff that... that Christian's got. So you see all the different routines. It's currently at about 26 different uh, routines and Christian adds two every single month. Okay, so you get two new routines every single month. So when you subscribe, you get access to all of the, the tricks that have come before it, as well as any new tricks that come through the lifetime of you being a subscriber, if that kind of makes sense. Now, uh, this works the same way as most subscription membership sites, which means you can cancel any time. But when you do cancel, obviously you lose access to all of the information on there. Uh, Christian has built up a really nice community of people um, that are really passionate about his style of magic. Now, Christian's taken a very no frills approach to this, which is absolutely fine. And what I mean by that is the um, the performances generally as a rule, I mean, they vary from performance to performance, but they're performed in a very casual setting, normally to Christian friends or his sister Poppy appears in quite a few of the videos. And uh, and then the performance is done in a very kind of no frills approach as well. It's not like he's sitting in a vanishing ink studio surrounded on a multiple camera shoot. It's not like that, uh, but it doesn't need to be because you get all the information that you need. Um, now, anyone who's seen Christian, knows that uh, uh, he's an incredible creator of magic. If you know him from his Vanishing Ink releases or his Vanishing Ink downloads or maybe, you know, something that he's put out through Illusionist, you'll know that he is a super intelligent creator of magic and has, over the course of the last few years, created a whole bunch of different routines, some of them mentalism-based, some of them are more visual styles of magic. And, uh, and, and this membership site is a really a collective collection of routines and there's some amazing routines. Now, before we go any further into the review of the membership sites, I want to do, uh, I want to, I want to show you a brief interview that I did with Christian because I wanted you to hear about this membership site directly from the horse's mouth, so to speak. So I'm going to run an interview that I did with Christian Grace. Uh, this interview will allow you to see exactly what makes the membership site sick, why Christian set the membership site up, the content that's on there. I asked him a whole bunch of questions. So we're going to run that interview. Then after the interview, we'll talk a little bit more about the membership site and then we're going to give it a review. So I'm back once again with the legendary Christian Grace. <laughs> Congratulations, man. I, I, a couple of weeks ago, I did the uh, the review show on Inevitable Choice. Since that review, I've been performing it every chance I get. It's awesome. Oh, thank um, you, yeah, no, it, it's a pleasure to be here. And um, it's, it's always nice to have these chats because we get to talk about the one thing that we both love, <laughs> which is magic. So Exactly. And that's something that comes across every time I talk to you. You are so passionate about magic. Yeah. Which is why I wanted to do this review show 
on your membership site or your membership platform, which and I've never done a review on a membership platform before. And I, there's lots out there and I'm members of some of them, but this is, in, I've only just recently joined it, um, like in the last week, and I'm binging all of the material <laughs> on there. It's incredible. And I said to you, we have to talk about your membership site because it's the it's 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 some of the best value for money in magic right now. So I want to I want to talk to you about it. Yeah. Find out. So what made you decide to go down the route of membership site, Christian? So I've always wanted to teach magic, you know, over the last decade, I've I've worked on creating certain things that I've released through the community, through companies and stuff. But really, my love for magic is an everyday thing. And so I create card tricks as and when I'm working on plots or principles. And so I've always had that thing of wanting to refine something and to teach it, you know, to kind of give something to other people that they can then take and hopefully take further, you know, and then in the future, we can then um, improve on what's existing uh, with that stuff. So I've always loved teaching magic because I learn a lot from it myself, in yeah. essence. And so it was kind of out of a necessity of, of having to, through the pandemic, to start a business at home, from home, because mm. uh, I wasn't doing as many gigs uh, and teaching one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so that was the kind of instigator to start the membership. But then, of course, once I had started it, I realized this is exactly what I was born to do because mm. it's a perfect home for all of the magic that I've been working on. So that was the initial thing was just being in the pandemic and thinking, right, I want to do now everything online. And then I just found the way to do it. So I'm on a platform called Gumroad, which is really easy to um, become a member because once you sign up, all the content's in one place. They even have an app. Um, that you can download so you can watch the content on the go so people who like to learn magic you know whilst they're on their way to work or you know out and about it's really easy to find and 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 to access so that's quite a fun thing uh, the platform itself and so right now yeah you're binge watching it because there's 26 items as of today there's 26 items in there that that people can access for essentially 10 pounds plus VAT um, although the price point will go up slightly for new members in March, at the beginning of, of March, but everyone who's a current member um, is, is in at, at, at the initial price. So, right, okay, so yeah. people that are watching this, yes, that yes. like, you know, after we've had our chat and we've seen the review, if they want to join, they really need to join before March, else they're going to be paying extra every single month, but if they join in February... Yes. They're locked in at that lower price point. Is that right? Absolutely. So every okay. single member that's in there now pays £10 a month plus VAT. And it's super easy to join. And if it's not your cup of tea, it's super easy to leave as well. There's no uh, conditions of, you know, having to stay for a certain period. You can literally jump in or jump out. I've had several people who have, 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 have stuck around from the very beginning. Um, so I am actually growing a community and it spurs me on to want to do it more because it's just mm. so wonderful, you know, to, to share this magic with people and to have such great feedback. Um, and but, you, you, just to be clear, you, you add two new routines a month. Is that right? Yeah. Two, two original card effects each month. Mm -hmm. um, these are very, there's a wide variety of, of kind of flavor to the card magic. So I put in, you know, some card locations, uh, any card, any number, my take on the out of this world. Mm -hmm. um, and which I believe, I, I don't think you've got to yet because we've discussed some other things you've seen, but but I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing that. And then some principles, like some ways of shuffling the deck to keep in red, black order and just useful tools and tips uh, within each routine that people can take away and apply to other areas of their card magic. So, so one of the things I've noticed, Christian, is some of the routines are fairly almost self-working in terms of their nature. There's nothing difficult about it at all. Other routines you're using moves and that are challenging for a beginner, nothing ridiculous, but I love that variety. So yeah, if you're brand new to magic and you don't know much, you're going to get something out of it. But if you've been doing it for a long time, you're going to get something out of it as well. Right. Yeah, no, absolutely. It, there's a variety of, of things of all sort of skill levels. Some of it, like you say, is more self-working in nature but mm -hmm. other things are a little bit more challenging require 
things like the diagonal palm shift or palming a card or a bit of lapping. Um, but I cover all of those things and I cover also my approach to how I like to perform them and the kind of subtleties and safeguards I add to make sure things go to plan, you know, <laughs> mm-hmm. just the advice basically of, of having performed these things over the past decade, you know, to, to, to basically say, well, I've actually changed this, this and this uh, for these reasons. And this is going to be more helpful to give you guys the shortcut. So you're not making the same mistakes that I've made along the way. Mm. Um, so it's, it's that kind of thing. It's not just here's a trick and here's the explanation to know the method. It's more here's the trick and here's how I do it and why I do it this way and what's helpful about this. Um, you know, so there's a bit of theory in there as well. And, mm. um, you know, I, I, I elaborate on not just the principle at play, but also other little subtleties. Um, mm. So, for example, in the knowing principle, which is the first effect, which you've which seen. Is brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> Yes. Uh, I, I talk about um, the charity subtlety. Does is that? Oh familiar? yes, the charity subtlety with uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but yeah, it was Go a. Go ahead. If you oh, okay, so the whole idea of having a charity sticker on the deck of cards, so yeah. it looks very unassuming, and it looks like yeah. hey, the cards aren't important. It's it, yeah, exactly, and it, it more importantly, it tells the spectator if you are if you have a gimmick deck or you you have a setup, it tells the spectator a backstory to that deck. They know by seeing that sticker that you've just grabbed that from a charity shop. Mm. And, and the thing is, like, if you grab a deck from a charity shop, there's, of course, there's no setup or there's nothing untoward about that deck of cards because it tells them where it's come from. So it's a, it's a small point, but in and of itself, that's the kind of stuff that I like to get into, little details and touches that I apply to the present the presentation of the magic. Fantastic. That's great. And one thing that I think is really important for people to understand that are watching this, at least one thing I picked up on is a lot of the time you perform, Christian, you perform in a very casual social situation. Um, People that are watching this might go, well, hang on, I I perform in corporate events surrounded by hundreds of people. That's not going to work. It is going to work because the magic that you do A, you go through how to do it in different scenarios and different situations. You openly say at the beginning, this is what you're going to need. And it's adaptable. And the perfect example is a gift, is the gift. When you perform the gift, I was like, that's really cool. And you were doing it in a very casual situation to your sister and blah, blah, blah. But it's the sort of thing that it's one of the best openers I've ever seen. You go and you do card magic at a walk around gig and you do this, you're going to kill people. Like, Um, believe me, I, I am a worker. Like I know I you are. My fair share of weddings. I know, but you have. Oh no, I know you do, and I don't, I don't want <laughs> but, people. But, to but, I, but I have but that. You in are mind. known as like a person who does a lot of casual performances, and mm, I want people I, to know it's not just about that. Yeah, no, and thank you for mentioning that. But I, I do often think, you know, how how are my members going to get the most from this, and what what can I offer them, and and that again kind of circles back to the advice element, where I like to sort of give these shortcuts to say well i've i've hit these hurdles and actually if you do this even such a simple thing like having the box on the table and putting something a card on the box so that later on when you need to do a secret move it's e- it's more easily accessible to get into that move because of that tiny little nuance you know even those little things that that add up to make it more you know effortless and flow easier um i cover all of that stuff and um and the bet in particular is an effect is a type of opener that goes down really well at walk around events because you can use their hands as a table and essentially you're having four cards change in their hands you know it's a massive moment you know and it's kind of got that wrong card right card feel to it where they think you've kind of made a mistake but then suddenly there's that magical surprise mm. um i think richard sanders reached out and said it was one of his favorite openers as well so it was nice to have that fi- that kind of feedback Oh, it's incredible. It really is. Can I ask you a question? Yes. <laughs> what? And this is something I'm genuinely interested in. So there's some incredibly strong material in this membership site, and it's only going to get stronger and stronger as you add routines over the course of the coming weeks, months and years. What makes you kind of go this trick? This trick is for the membership site, while this one is a product I should release with the company. So, for example, and I understand like something like Icarus. It's very heavily gimmicked. You would need to get a gimmick. But something like uh, Inevitable Choice, you technically, I know it comes with a specially printed deck, but if you went through, somebody yeah. could change a deck to work. That's right. Do you know what I mean? So what makes you go, 
you know what, this is actually better as a as a single trick because they're they're equally strong, like inevitable choice and and the gift. The gift's going to be my new opener, and <laughs> I perform inevitable choice all over the place as I have switched one, as you know. Yeah. What makes you decide to go? Well, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. It's it's a really good question, and I think inevitable choice is a good um, thing to compare it to. With that, of course, someone can source their own deck and set it up and you know do all the naughty stuff that creates the effect but it would probably cost si like similar amount to you know get all those things together and the effort and the time and everything so with with inevitable choice to have that as a custom built deck and then to have much more emphasis on the tutorial aspect with that to present them as a product is something that's much better suited for a company to do because of course they can mass produce things in a different way that I could if I suddenly reach out and it might take me longer I might not have the connections that they do and mm. and and I would want with a trick like that I would want to provide the product to make it yeah. so that that person can open it and start performing it and enjoy it um, not have to think oh I have to then put this work into making this thing whereas a lot of the things in the membership aren't necessarily um, that way inclined you know uh, the methods are there the principles are there but they don't necessarily require too much setup so um of course there are a varying variety of tricks with different either some with no setup at all and some with a little bit of preparation and there's a couple with more preparation but i think the payoff is 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 good mm. um but the point is anyone with a few decks of cards can do any of the material in the membership yeah. because i i you know, I don't say you need to go out and buy a horse and some, you know, <laughs> it's very easy for someone to put these things together so they can immediately start applying this to their magic. It's not, they don't need to wait for too much. Uh, that's great. You, does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. Absolutely. And I, I figured that's what it was. Yeah. And of course, I can take these items to companies and do downloads, but I think it's much more interesting to have a hub of exclusive card magic mm. that less people know about because yeah. less people are going to be doing it. And, um, you know, and it's, there's more of that natural secrecy that you have in magic. Um, and it's more fun being part yeah. of this thing. And I really have, I've built this community now. We, we've got a fair few hundred people in there. So it's, it's really growing and I'm, I'm very proud to have that. Um, and I care about everyone in there. So every single message I've received from members, I reply to, I make sure there's right. communication. So if anyone's stuck on anything or they have any further questions or even further ideas, I mean, last night, for example, um, a guy called Matt Baker, um, who's in the membership, he reached out and, and gave me a, some feedback on one of the items and said, oh, have you thought about doing it this way? And we spent a good half an hour on Skype just having a jam. <laughs> so <laughs> That's great. Isn't it great? Yeah. And, and I was so, um, you know, I mean, to hear for, from a member, you know, additional thoughts and to make me think in different ways is also amazing and, su and surprising. So... I always encourage that open dialogue and I'm always there for members and make sure everyone's happy um, and people are getting, you know, a lot of value for their money. Um, so I really, I really care about it. This, this is the, this is the project that's the closest to my heart. Mm. It's me directly. It's all the work that I've been doing put into a place where I can share it with people that, that are interested in that care about the kind of car magic I'm, I'm doing. And you've mentioned the word community a few times, and it does feel like a community. Do you have like a community page, like a Facebook page for the members where they can jam and talk about the different routines? Um, or is it really, it, is that functionality not there? So that functionality is not there at this moment in time. I think partly because um, I've seen other projects where they have loads of different places, like pages mm -hmm. on Facebook, and then there's groups over here, and then they've got different, you know, like yeah. on a thing on discord and it's very sort of everywhere you know i yeah. think with this people understand what they're getting yeah you know, they sign up they can watch the videos they can take what they want from it they can apply it in their own way and if they need to reach out or if they have any questions or further thoughts i'm really easy easily accessible but it's way more productive for me to be able to put a great amount of time into the videos each every two weeks when i put them up than it is to do too much and then suddenly you know if i'm doing like a live in this place or if i'm doing a forum thing and i'm having to answer questions in one place it might become a different thing yeah. and, and it, it doesn't need to be like that because like i've said i'm very accessible and 
um, I've I've hit a few bumps along the way, but everything seems smooth running from here on in. And and so um, I've opened up comment sections on the items. So if people do have thoughts or questions, they of course can communicate through the posts in in Gumroad. Um, but I found that people are are quite happy just learning the stuff and. I often just get messages saying, hey, man, I love this thing. Can you know, can you well, I've just I've just started with the membership site and it reminds me a little bit of reading a book. And I want to give some advice to people that are planning on joining Christian's membership site that I've already learned, which is, you know, when you read a book, you kind of flick through the routines that you think might suit you and you you might skip one that you think isn't your style. You shouldn't do that. And you can do the same thing in Christian sites. You can go through and watch the performances and go, nah, yes, 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 nah. One thing I've learned is not to skip them, even because, like, I'll give you an example of the gift. You um, teach in there. It's called, and it's, it's called the bet, Craig. I'm oh, sorry, the bet. Why do I keep I know, the gift? It's okay. because I'll tell you why. I was speaking to Angelo <laughs> earlier, and that's probably why. That's probably that's, why. That, that is it. No, they're, Yeah, they're yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm old. <laughs> I'm old, and I'm getting confused a lot these days. But and, and um, It was confusing me, because I have a trick called the gift. Oh, right, okay. Which I am <laughs> going to put in the message. I was thinking, how does he know about the gift? But I finally <laughs> understand you mean the bet. The bet, the bet. Sorry, yeah. I'm getting you and... <laughs> Angelo, two amazing creators. I'm getting you mixed up. But um, yeah, the, the bet, I mean, the point I'm trying to make is in that routine, even if you don't think that routine is not for you, you just casually throw in there the best handling of the Hofsinger spread force that I've ever seen. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's one of the best forces I've seen. It's so genius because you, you, the spectators forcing themselves in essence. Yeah, it's and, and that's just thrown in there. That's just like, oh, let's get, let's get into the bet. Oh, by the way, I'm going to teach you this absolutely killer force right now, which you haven't, you could, you could take that one force, forget about the trick. You could take that one force and put it as a download on somewhere like Penguin for $15 and people would be happy. And yeah, you're that's- just, that's not even, that's not even the trick. That's just one little <laughs> element that you learn from the trick. 10 pounds plus that a month it's insane yeah thank uh, you just, right. yeah it's well it is it's it's kind of a, you know as with anything like a trick can be deconstructed they can be like the main method or the workings of the trick or the principle at play or even multiple principles at play mm-hmm. um there can be you know the handling and the technique aspect there can then be the presentational and, and the kind of the the scripting aspect the lines you deliver or the beats of the, the performance and all of these things come together um, in the tutorial because I, I give a live performance of the, the trick. And then in the explanation, I break down each aspect, whether it be technical or methodological or presentational. So like you're saying, kind of like I'm trying to give every aspect of that one thing um, within itself to, to give to people. So it is very easy for someone to say, I don't quite like this as this trick but this handling of that force i'm going to be using for the rest of my life because x y z you know yeah so so i'm glad you pick up on that you know i want to give people value um so in my mind i see it as like five pounds per trick because it's 10 pounds plus vat so two tricks a month so for five pounds you practically have a coffee out or something you know Mm. a bit less than that but you get you catch my drift it's not a lot of money for the amount that i'm i'm putting in really and, not and really the best not. is yet to come because i've got i've got a lot planned for it i'm not i'm not making any of this stuff up as i go i have i have that's what i was going to ask because when you deal with something like this one concern that i know people have is the longevity of the site you know you are responsible for doing two tricks a month that's what people are paying for absolutely um, you know i know you well enough to know you've probably mapped this out for the next 15 years uh, <laughs> Um, yeah. in, 2000, well in 2036 well. in march this trick is going to go up like I, I i know that you're going to be way ahead of the curve on this right yeah so so you're right in saying that i have put a lot of preparation into this um i could have launched this immediately uh, i mean during the pandemic everything there was a bit of uncertainty at all times right but even with that uncertainty i didn't just throw myself into it i I still spent a substantial amount of time making sure everything was in the right order it needs to be. You know, I even considered like, if I'm teaching this person a particular handling of this force, I'll do that first because later on when I put this item in, they would have learned this already and they can build upon what they're learning as they go. So even the kind of chronology of 
the items was considered. And yeah, no, I've mapped this out for a good few years and everything that I'm putting in is stuff that I, I know people will, will like. It's, and, it's, and I would never put something out that I feel is half-baked or I feel is just like a throwaway thing trying to make do, you know? And I've seen yeah. that a lot of the time. I mean, I have very positive things to say about the magic community as a whole, but I do notice that for certain companies, there's this cash cow mentality of let's just throw this out, let's get this out. And I can tell when someone's just thought of something and just put it out the next day. You can see it, you can feel it. And this isn't what this is about. So I stand by my material and I stand by my approach. And, and I know that, I just know if, if people love card magic, they will gain something from this. Even if they were to jump in and out, they would still enjoy it, you know. So I'm going to put at the bottom of the screen, where can people go? What, what, I mean, I, when I joined, I just Googled, because I couldn't remember what platform it was on, I just Googled Christian Grace membership site, and it came up as the top link. I was like, that'll do, quick. <laughs> um, but is there Great. a particular place that people can go to? Yeah, so um, on Instagram, I'm Christian Grace Magic, and in my bio, I always have the live link there. Um, it's a good way to come to the membership as well, because you can click on that and you can follow me or subscribe to my mailing list. And of course, if there's any new um, things coming in the membership or if I'm planning other things outside of the membership, like product releases, I always give my members first dibs on those and I give discounts for my members on, on other products from other companies. So even just being, you know, following my mailing list from, from that link um, will allow people to keep up to date with what I'm doing and when nice. I'm doing it. So nice. that can all be accessed there. For those of you that aren't on Instagram, you can easily do what Craig did and just Google, Google Christian Grace Magic Monthly. And it's on a site called Gumroad, um, which has millions of users. It's a well-established site. They integrate PayPal. It's, it's fully formed and it's, you know, it's a good, it's, 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 a, it's a proper site, you know, e-commerce site. So. That's amazing. Yeah, the functionality was brilliant. I was in in seconds. Right, Christian, thank you so much. I am now going to swing this back, back to the studio. Yeah. I'm going to perform a trick or two. Hopefully, I won't butcher it, and I'm going to I'm going to um, I'm going to perform a trick or two for you. Uh, I'm going to give it a full review. Thank you, but Christian. One more time, thank you so much for jumping in and being on Magic TV again for another review show special. The pleasure is all mine, man. It's all mine. Thank you for having me. No problem. So that is uh, that is the, the interview with Christian. And first of all, I want to say thank you very much, Christian, for being on the channel and coming and sharing your thoughts on it with me. I really appreciate it. Christian is a super busy guy and he'll be coming on Talk Magic soon. Uh, but it was great that he could come on here and talk a little bit more about his membership site. So you got a lot of information from listening to Christian talk uh, about what it is that the membership site is. I think the most important thing for me to say is that all of the routines on here are golden. I mean, Christian hasn't half asked it. And what I mean by that, there's not like uh, a terrible trick in there. In fact, if anything, he under promises and over delivers. So he talks about how there's these 26 tricks, 28, 30, depending on when you, uh, you join his site. But within those videos, there is some absolute gold that he goes into like a lot of those videos are a master class in how to perform card magic and that's the important thing to understand this is all card magic it's not like there's a section for cards and it's a section for coins it's not like that this is just card magic that's christian's forte that's christian's speciality and he's sticking to his speciality which absolutely makes sense um now in the interview you heard me talk about the knowing uh, principle, which is a principle uh, that you can apply to your card magic. And I'm going to do a performance of this in a second to Reagan, and I'm going to uh, perform the knowing principle to Reagan. Uh, this is a perfect example of the type of magic that you're going to see on this platform, because it will absolutely fool the pants off. It fooled me completely. It's ridiculous fooling trick because what happens is you show a deck of cards the um the, the spectator can cut the cards wherever they want to underneath the table you're not looking they can look at the card they can put it away they can shuffle the cards to the heart's content and you can immediately 
tell them what card they sat on like immediately which is great and when christian performs it on the the membership site he takes like four decks of cards and he throws them out into the table and he talks about how you've got these different decks of cards and each one of them um you know each person's going to take a deck of cards and he gets each person to take the cards cut look at a card and it builds really nicely as a routine because you you uh you tell the first two spectators the card they cut on uh the, the card they sat on and then the final spectator they don't even take the card out. They just pretend to. And you tell them the card that they're merely thinking of. It's really clever. I'm going to do it to just Reagan. Um, and you can see exactly what the knowing principle looks like. I'm here with Reagan. Reagan. Hey. I've dragged her out of her office, yeah. haven't you? You've had a really busy day. <laughs> yes, and I've said, I need to do a card trick. <laughs> so I don't think she's in card trick mood right now. But I, I really want to show you a quick okay. trick. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Um, because it's impossible. Um, it uses a pack of cards. They're all there. They're all different, right? Yeah. And you're going to pick a card. We're going to use the table yeah. as a blindfold. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. In a second, you're going to take the deck underneath the, the, um, um, the table. Thank you. That thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and what you're going to do underneath the table, so I can't see it, and I'll look yeah. away anyway, you're going to cut the deck. Now, you can cut shallow. You can cut in the middle. You can cut deep. Cut any way you want to. Yeah. And where you cut, you're going to turn all of those cards over and put them back on top of the pack. Yeah. And then what you're going to do, whatever card you cut to, you're going to look at it. Remember it, and then you're going to slip it under your bum. You're going to sit on it. Okay. Um, and then you're going to take all the other cards that you cut and you're going to turn them face down. Okay. D does that make sense? And you're yeah. going to do it all underneath the table. Yeah. So first of all, take the deck Thank you. underneath the table so I can't see. Cut somewhere. Turn, the deck turn that packet face up. Put it on top of the pack. Yeah. Then look at that card. Don't let anyone see. Yeah. Shove it under your bum. Now all of those face-up cards <laughs> turn face down. Yeah, you got that? Yeah. And then what I want you to do is underneath the table, mix up the cards. Give them a mix up. Give them a shuffle or a mix up. It'll be funny for everybody. You're not as bad as Luke, Craig. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, Luke can't shuffle at all. I can't shuffle, but I'm mixing. So. Okay, that's cool. And then when you've come, when you've brought them out, uh, bring them up above the table and carry on mixing them up a little bit, so that there's uh, yeah. And and can you give them a little shuffly shuffly? Can you do a no? I can't even do that. You can't even I'm do a useless. shuffle. <laughs> You're not useless. You're amazing. Okay, but. It, it, seriously, I want you to think about this for a minute. There's no way I could know what your card is, right? No. I mean, because it was all done underneath the table. You could have cut anywhere. Yeah, I've mixed them and up. And then you put it under your bum. You mix them up. There's no way I could know anything, right? No. There's now 51 cards in this deck. Yeah. I'm going to look at all 51 cards. Watch. That's a quick look. This is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, really hard. Um, there's a black card missing. Yeah. Yeah, it's a black card missing. Hang on. Sort of explain. It's a club. There's a club missing. Yeah. It's a club missing. It's a club missing. I, I, I looked really fast. Um, a, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. You took out and slipped under your bum <laughs> the seven of clubs. Yes. How, How have you done that? Isn't that cool? That's what? There you go. I don't understand it either. But thanks. How do you know that? So that gives you an idea of a routine that like is just super, super strong. And I kind of think of that sort of magic as pipe and slipper magic. It's not the sort of thing that you're gonna go and do at a, a gig where you're surrounded by people and you've got to hit them hard, but it is the sort of thing that you would do at the end of the night when you've got a few people around and they're invested in your performance and you want to show them one more thing and you show them something or you show them a set, this is the perfect thing to include in that set. It's also the perfect sort of thing to include in a casual setting. Now, I mentioned this in the interview, but just because Christian's magic is performed a lot of the time in a casual environment doesn't mean that that's the only type of uh, environment in which the magic can be performed in. Uh, a lot of his stuff is super commercial. I'm going to give you an example of that. I'm going to perform another routine of the project now. I'm going to perform uh, off the project, off the membership site. I'm going to perform a routine called the bet. Now, the bet for me is an incredible opener. I love this. I think this would be a great opener um, because you've got a really engaging plot. The trick's over very quickly. You've got a magical change of a card in the spectator's hand. You've got a kicker ending. You've got all the things that you need to make a really good opener. And I really like the bet. So let's have a look at that one right now. I'll do a performance of the bet. Ready? 
Hello. Reagan? <laughs> uh, I've got a deck of cards. Yeah. Now, have you ever heard of shuffle tracking? Not really, no. It's used by gamblers, and okay. the whole idea is you shuffle, uh, you, you watch somebody shuffle, mm -hmm. and you can keep track of a card. It's, okay. it's kind of an interesting concept. I've been practicing it. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Just touch any card that you like, any one. Uh, this one. That one, are you sure? Yeah. Take all the cards, square them up. Very good. Have a peek at that card that you cut to, the bottom one. Don't yeah. show me, obviously. Have you got it? Yeah. Yeah? And then shuffle shuffle the cards. In fact, you can keep above the table. I'm not that good. Uh, or below <laughs> the table. Take a few more, actually, as well, because I need to be able to see you shuffling. So keep them above the... Uh, the Try your best. Hang on. It's okay. Just do that sort of thing. That's really good. Keep shuffling. No, you're doing great. Keep shuffling. Keep shuffling. Keep shuffling. Keep shuffling. Keep shuffling. Keep shuffling. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I've got it. Okay. And just put them back there. And leave them there. So think about this. You could have picked any card you wanted to, mm -hmm. and then you shuffled them. And all I did was watch the shuffle, and I was tracking it. First of all, it went into the 12th position, then the 21st position, then into the second position. You went under the table for a second, so this might not work. But if it does, it'd be really cool. Um, don't tell me if I'm right or not, because I'm not always right. I have a feeling it might be one of these four cards. Now, I don't know if I'm right or not, but I have a feeling it might be one of these four cards. Um, as I say, don't tell me if I'm right or not. I think I'm going to go for this one. Can you hold your hand out for me? I think I'm going to go for, for this one. Now, I might not be right. If it's not that one, mm -hmm. then it'll be, it'll be one of these. Okay. For the first time, tell me, was your card the Seven of Clubs? No. What? Really? Yeah. Re was it one of the other three? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> ten of Hearts. It was the Ten of Hearts? Yeah. This is why I'm not a gambler. I'm not very good at shuffle tracking. <laughs> and it's precisely why I'm a magician. Mm -hmm. Because as a magician, I can do magic, but I'm not very good at shuffle tracking. Yeah. Magic would look like this. And you remember the other three cards? Yeah. Real magic would look like this. And I get the other <gasps> three tens. What? How have you done that? Very well, I thought. So oh. there you go. That's the bet. Now I could... And, and actually, let me just say here, like I said before, it's a really great routine. The way that it's been structured and uh, it's just really great. And he's included a slide in there called Hofsinger Handout, which is the best version of the Hofsinger spread force I've ever seen. And this is an example of adding value. Uh, you know, he's not advertising that he's teaching a new force here, but he is. And he's just throwing it in as part of one of the routines that he's teaching. And uh, I haven't, I'll be honest, I haven't made it through the whole of the membership site yet. I'm about halfway through and there is not a single trick that I've watched that I don't want to study and learn because will I end up doing all of the tricks off this membership site? Very doubtful. However, am I going to try and learn all of them because I might learn something from watching and learning all of them? Absolutely. Uh, because it, it, the material is just really strong. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's the membership site. Now let's look at the pros and the cons. The pros are it's only £10 plus VAT a month, although that is going up, bear that in mind. As Christian said in the interview, it's going up at the end of March, an extra £2. So if you want to lock that £10 price in, if I were you, would subscribe before March comes along. Um, but you've got, uh, so, so positives, it's not that expensive. Uh, there's some killer material. Christian is really committed to making sure that this site is updated on a regular basis. Every month he's going to upload another two tricks, uh, which is 24 tricks a year. When you think about how much a download is, which can be anything from 5 to 15, 20 pounds, uh, there's massive value being a part of this membership site. Uh, it's an eclectic range of tricks. Uh, there's some self-working stuff. There's some stuff that uses quite complicated and technical sleights of hand. There's all points in between. There's principles. There's routines. Uh, there's talks about a whole bunch of stuff related to magic throughout the course of these videos. And it's, it's a very clear, you get a performance, you get an explanation. They're not long-winded. The explanations I've watched are about 10 to 20 minutes, but they give you all the information you need. They're very succinct. 
Now, the only downside is, as I say, as a platform, it's very basic, which is fine. It all, it's all it needs to be, but it is worth noting it is very basic. You're not going to have a Netflix style thing where you've got categories and you can search for tricks or anything like that. It's not like that. It is very basic. Uh, and the videos are shot in a very no frill style way, which again is something that's worth noting. But outside of that, there's no real negatives. It's a very strong collection of tricks that's only going to get stronger as we continue along. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's highly recommended. I'm going to give it 100%. I would seriously highly recommend that everybody buys this. Even if you subscribe to a couple of months and you watch the videos that are on there and you realize the quality that Christian's putting out here, and then you, you, you know, you're paying a small amount for another two tricks every single month, I'm going to continue to be a member because I think it's brilliant. And uh, I recommend everyone do as well. It's 100%. There's going to be a link down below where you can actually get uh, a direct link through to Christian's site and you can, you can subscribe from there. But yeah, I mean, if there's anything else you need to know, please let me know in the comments down below. But I can sum it up by saying it's a very good membership site. It's one of the best I've seen. I will be looking and reviewing other membership sites as I move on in the coming weeks and months. But the bar has been set very high with this one. Magic Monthly by Christian Grace. Highly recommended. So there you go, guys. That is another review show special in the bag. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Really appreciate it. We've reached the end of the week here at Magic TV, the end of another week. Next week is Blackpool week. We're still going to be trying to upload videos every single day, and I think we're going to be able to manage it. But next week is Blackpool week. And I'm super excited. If you're coming to Blackpool, make sure you say hi. Don't forget, I'm going to be back tomorrow with another video. I'm going to have three videos, one at two o'clock, which is a short. Five o'clock, sorry, six o'clock is going to be a live. Nine o'clock is going to be a five by five. Uh, if you haven't already done so, uh, please buy the Quantum Deck. And if you haven't already done so, go and check out the video that I did on Luke Dancy on Thursday. It's worth checking that video out because uh, you see some live performances of Quantum and you actually uh, hear me talk about some of the questions that people have about it. Uh, thanks very much for watching. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below and I'm going to be back again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Thanks very much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV.